Hello, this is Valerie Aiello, and you're listening to Idea Diary. Thanks for coming back to my office and hanging out. Okay, so today I wanted to talk, talk about the Jose Silva mental video technique. This is something that I have decided to use in the month of August to see if I can make something insane happen by using one of Jose Silva's techniques. Jose Silva is, guess, he's like a mind control teacher and he teaches you how to control your your own mind to make things happen. So to be able to have higher human functioning on all different levels, any level you want. And one of the things that I'm trying to do is get my memorization to be on point. Just uh, for some reason, I can definitely feel that I'm not using my brain enough and I need to kind of like snap it back into actually functioning as high as possible. So I'm working on my memorization. And also always, I'm always trying to make like magical things happen. And just to prove to everybody that you can use your mind with positive thinking and expectations, you can make things happen that seem impossible. So I'm always trying to think about that. And I have a friend that really needs some magic in her life. So I kind of, I listened to a few audiobooks, watched a lot of videos, and he has a lot of different techniques. Jose Silva and so I picked one which is the mental video technique and that was the one that kind of resonated with me that is something that I've never really tried before. I guess it's like wish crafting. Helen Helene Hadstill I think her name is I might be saying that wrong. She would win a bunch of contests any contest she would enter she would win so she won houses she won cars she won like six trips to Paris she just would win and she taught her husband how to do it she taught her children how to do it and she ended up working for Jose Silva I don't know if it was the in the 70s or 80s this is kind of like classic law of attraction uh positive thinking um new thought era teaching the positive ways of life which is what I'm really into I made a little a little guide for my phone I sent it to my friend The best that I could figure out is that the mental video technique has a few steps and I'm going to try to explain the steps, but I encourage you to go like find the real people that can really explain this much better than I can. Basically, step one is with your eyes open, you make a two to three minute mental video of your problem. So Jose Silva likes to say, you don't have problems, you have projects. So a problem can be something that you know with everything in your being, you know what the solution is, and you know how things should unfold and work out. That's one type of problem. The other type of problem, which is more my style, which is like you really don't know how the outcome is going to be, but you know what the problem is, and you can imagine a better version, a better thing, a better living situation, a better way of experiencing life than whatever it is your problem is. So step one, with your eyes open, you make a two-minute mental video of your problem. Just kind of organize that in your mind. Like what is your, what's the basic point of what is not perfect? Step two is then you do it with your eyes closed. And this is something you might do when you wake up in the morning or if you forget, you could just kind of do it later in the day. Just at some point, you kind of define your problem and you visualize it. You make a mental movie of it and then you go about your day. Step three is you do the three, two, one method before bed, which is you kind of, you close your eyes and you visualize the number three flashing three times and then you visualize the number two flashing three times, the number one flashing three times. And that puts you like in a different state rather than just being wide awake. You're kind of hypnotizing yourself into relaxing and getting into like the the state of imagination, I would say. So you review that mental video of your problem again. You're going to pass that mental video. 
you know, crunch up that problem like a little ball of paper in your mind. And you're going to kind of like throw it to higher intelligence. You can pick whatever higher intelligence you want to pick. Basically, this is the process of like you're turning that problem into a project, but you're kind of handing off the how. Like you're, you're basically maybe asking for assistance and you don't really know what assistance you need. You're kind of giving higher intelligence, like the go ahead to like, help me find the solution. I need help. You mentally watch that problem go and then you just like let it go. Let it out of your system. You're not worried about it anymore, which is a huge thing I've noticed when you're trying to like make something happen. I don't want to say manifest because I feel like I'm not talking about magically like a million dollars falling from the sky and landing in your lap. There are a lot of different things that you want that you want to happen in your life and you can make those things happen, which is positive thinking. So you've handed off that video, that mental video. The next step, you are going to create a new video. And this new video, a two-minute, three-minute video, you're going to make this new two-minute video about the outcome if you get what you want. So you don't need to worry about how it's going to happen. Just... Ultimately, if you end up getting what you want, how are you going to feel? What are you going to do? What car are you going to be driving? What groceries are you going to be buying? Just, you know, get as detailed as you want. Once you make that mental video of the positive outcome in the video, and maybe even thinking of all the people that, ha- that will benefit once you get your way, then you're going to pass that video on to higher intelligence. And I would say, if you know what you want... I wouldn't be afraid to detail it, but at the same time, be kind of open to all possibilities, I feel like is way more open-minded and maybe the potential of it happening could happen faster. We never actually know. I'm definitely more interested in being open-minded. And Jose Silva would always talk about, been listening to a lot of audiobooks of it and just listening to people talk about him. He said, the more people that benefit from the things that you want, the faster the outcome is going to be. I'm not sure how you measure that, but it does seem plausible that that could happen. So the next step is when you have both your videos, you have the problem video, you have the potential outcome video, you've handed it off to higher intelligence. You can kind of just like let it go and stop thinking about it, or you can kind of you know, if it's something like close to your heart, I don't think it hurts to constantly think about it. Jose Silva definitely says that consistent focus on what you desire with clarity will help an outcome happen faster. Again, it's one of those things like, how do you measure that? But, you know, it's just positive thinking. I feel overall can generate positive outcomes. Apparently over the next three days or so after you've done this little mental video technique exercise, you're supposed to go throughout your day looking for inspired action, that something that's telling you to try something or do something, go down a different street, make a phone call, um, or just kind of be aware of things. Like maybe you get a weird letter and you need to interpret that in some way for you to take inspired action or maybe someone just calls you one day and they say oh here's a million dollar check I, I totally forgot to to send this to you I'm sending it to you now it's the things of the impossible can be possible and just maybe a little shift in your actions could bring about a totally different outcome you know whatever you're experiencing now is based on the thoughts of yesterday when we're in the now we're kind of always a little bit in the past so I'm definitely, you know, when you're, when you're in the past, when, you're, when you think about your past and you kind of like look that direction of like the things that have happened, it, those, those things are gone. And when you look to the future, you can have all the planes in the world. I'm kind of in the boat right now where I don't really want to plan anything. I want to have my desires and my goals and my skills and doing the things that I want to do every day and then hope that what unfolds in the future is actually way more fun than I could ever have planned, decided on, you know, organized in my mind. I'm right now in a phase of just completely letting go, just as long as I'm having a great day. If every day is a great day, always something to look forward to. The future is 
a surprise, I guess you could say. I'm in that, in that phase of my life right now. I'm totally open to all amazingness. So we'll see what happens. I'm doing this technique all throughout the entirety of August. I am just focusing on one project, one problem that I'm turning into a project. And I'm just uh, kind of see what the outcome is at the end of the month. If it doesn't happen at the end of the month, I'm not going to be like crushed or anything. But it's also kind of fun to make a weird positive thinking game for myself. And I think this method is perfect. You should try it. There's also the water technique method, which is where before bed, you have a glass of water, you drink half the glass of water, then you kind of like give your problem to the water and it, I guess, marinates overnight. And then when you wake up in the morning, you drink the answer of the problem. That to me was like a fun thing, but I, I needed more. So this mental video technique definitely gives me like something good, something to imagine. And we'll see. I guess it's sort of like buying a lottery ticket and hoping that you win. And if you don't win, your life's not over. But if you do, eventually when there are winners, you know, that could be you. All right. Well, that's the show for today. And thanks for hanging out with me and see you later. Bye.